Hi and welcome back to the Mr. Talbot Maths video and in this week's video we've got this problem that you can see here and it's finding the area of this shape. So first things you might notice is that we've got lines through two of the sides that means they're equal length and we've got a right angle. Now before I go any further I just want to say last week's video, video I had a few comments about the microphone so I've got a new microphone hopefully you can hear me a lot better. So I'll carry on, but hopefully, like, like I say, um, that, that makes things better anyway. Back to the problem. So the first thing I would do for this problem is to work out, um, well, to, to, to draw an extra line and then work out the length of that. So I would label this as three. I would draw this line here from the apex to the bottom right corner. I will label the corners in a little bit. I know people have commented about that as well. So again, hopefully that will help if people are writing their uh, their solutions in the comments. Um, I always read them as well. So please do keep putting them down there. I, I really appreciate, you know, people sharing their different methods to help, you know, me and other people that read the comments. It, you know, maths is all about collaboration and working together. The next thing is obviously to work out the length of that side. So because it's a right angle triangle, we can use uh, Pythagoras. So one squared plus three squared and square root it gives us the length, which is root 10. OK, now then we have got three sides of a triangle. We have got three, five and this root 10. And if we can work out the area of this large triangle and subtract the area of the smaller triangle, that will give us the, the area that we are looking for. Now. There are a couple of ways to do this, but I want to show you a way that you won't have learned in school. You won't have even seen or I didn't even see at, you know, A level or even university. Uh, but it's something that I went away and found out for myself because I was interested in it um, before university. I, I, I wondered if there was a way of working out. And I think this was even before my A levels. If there was working out the area of a triangle from just the lengths of the three sides. And so what I found was a formula called Heron's formula. And this can do exactly that. It can work out the area of any triangle given the length of the three of the three sides. And the first part of it looks quite complicated. So it's got the area of the triangle is the square root of S times by S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Now, if you've looked at sine and cosine rule before, you will be familiar with A, B and C. So they're just any side of your triangle. But what's the S? Well, the S is worked out using this. So you add your three sides together and you divide by two. Now, there is another way that you can work out the area of a triangle just from the three sides. And that's by doing inverse cosine rule and then half A, B, sine C. So that's possible as well. But this I thought was quite nice because you don't have to work out any angles and, and then that also rules out the room for any kind of rounding errors if you decide to round those rather than doing it um, in another method or using you know, like triangles and other way to get an exact value for sine theta from cos theta. So I thought this was quite nice and this is what I wanted to show uh, everyone watching this video because I'm aware that people might be from you know uh, university or after university sixth form or you know even secondary school or even maybe lower than that I don't know um, so but, but it's something you wouldn't come across otherwise now to calculate s using this triangle I've got 3 add 5 add root 10 all three sides of the triangle divided by 2 I'm then going to just use my answer button on my calculator and I'm going to substitute it into Heron's formula. OK, that is going to give me an answer of 9 over 2. OK, so that's given me quite a nice answer. Now, the final answer for this, obviously, we've got the 9 over 2. And we have got to subtract this triangle here, triangle B, C, D. So that we can work out by a half times by one times by three. And it gives us a very nice answer of three units squared, whatever the units are. OK, I hope you enjoyed that problem. And if you had a different way of doing it, then please share it down in the comments. And as always, 
like and subscribe because I really appreciate it. It tells me that you are enjoying these videos that you're watching. Okay, uh, until next week, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.